Father, your word tells us that those who abide in you and in your love are like a tree planted by streams of water. Our fruit is yielded in season and our wheat does not wither. Whatever we do shall prosper. As Allie and Carter come together today, may you continue to nurture and grow them. Your blessings are apparent in their strong foundation. May they stay rooted in you and in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Carter, take you, Allie, to be my wife. I, Carter, take you, Allie, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are separated by death. To love and to cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. Allie, may you repeat this vow to Carter saying, I, Allie, take you, Carter, to be my husband. I, Allie, take you, Carter, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are separated by death. To love and to cherish until we are separated by death. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. care of her. I love you two together. I love you both so much. Um, congratulations, guys. I still remember when Carter first mentioned Allie. He surprisingly had a lot to say. It went something like, dude, do you know Alec Casper? And I said, yeah, why? And he said, it's pretty hot. That's pretty much it. The ceremony 
of marriage in which you've come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in all the world. Celebrated in the beginning, in the presence of God himself, marriage is a gift of God given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives. Your marriage must stand not by the authority of the state, nor by the seal of your wedding certificate, but rather by the strength of your love for each other and the power of your faith in God. So I'll say this to Allie, you look beautiful tonight, and I'm so happy that you're 